اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم وَإِمِّنْ أَهْلِ الْكِتَابِ إِلَّا لَيُؤْمِنَنَّ بِهِ قَبْلَ مَوْتِهِ وَيَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ يَكُونُ عَلَيْهِمْ شَهِيدًا صدق اللہ العظیم The section, last section of Surah An-Nisa in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is addressing the people of the book. It is continuing. And the discussion about Hazrat Masih alayhi salatu wa salam. وَإِمْ مِنْ أَهْلِ الْكِتَابِ إِلَّا لَيُؤْمِنَنَّ بِهِ قَبْلَ مَوْتِهِ And there will be none among the people of the book except that they will have to believe in him before his death. This ayah is very important. Although people have misinterpreted it in many ways. But according to the beliefs of Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah, Hazrat Masih alayhi salatu wa salam will come again in this world. And all the people who will be present of the book at that time, they will believe in him. Maybe some Jews also of that time will believe in him. But those who don't will, who will not believe in him even at that time, they will all be eliminated. Just as the nations who denied to accept the messengers of Allah, they were all eliminated. The people of Nuh, the people of Hud, the nation of Saleh, the people of Shoaib, the cities to which Hazrat Lut was sent, and so on. Firaun and his men, all were finished, all were eliminated because they didn't accept the messenger which was sent to them. Now Hazrat Masih alayhi salam was sent to the Jews. Rasulan ila Bani Israel. We have read it in Surah Al Imran. And the Jews rejected him. So they deserve the same punishment. Although this punishment has been deferred by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala till the second coming of Jesus. Alayhi salatu wa salam. Because he was just lifted. And he will return again. And when he returns again, either all the people of the book, the Jews and the Christians will believe in him or they will be eliminated. So whosoever will remain, they will necessarily believe in him. Then you know death will come to him. This has been given clearly in hadith of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa He has not yet died. He was not crucified. He didn't die. He was not killed. So there is no question of resurrection up till now. Resurrection will be after death. Death is yet to come to him. When he returns to this earth, the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ tells us, he will marry, he will beget children, then death will come to him, and he will be buried along with the Prophet Muhammad ﷺ in the same, you know, hujra of Hazrat Aisha, رضي الله تعالى عنها. So these are the things which we believe of the authority of authentic ahadith of the Prophet ﷺ. And to these things, this ayah is pointing. That is, every, everyone believing in the books will necessarily believe in him before his death. And on the day of judgment, on the day of resurrection, he will be a witness against them. Because this we have seen. The messengers were sent to the nations and they conveyed the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to them. But then on the day of judgment, in the divine court, they will stand up as court witnesses, as prosecution witnesses, they will testify, O oh Allah, the message that came to me from you, I conveyed to them. Now they are responsible. So this is the shahada which all the prophets and messengers of Allah will give. This is the testimony that they will testify in the court of Allah, divine court of the last day. 
فب ظلم من الذين هادوا حرمنا عليهم طيبات احلت لهم وبصدهم عن سبيل الله كثيرا تو مور تشارجز اگینسٹ اگینسٹ دی جیوز اینڈ بیکاز اف دی ایول ڈوئنگز اف دوز پیپل دوز جیوز ہو بیکیم جیوز حرمنا عليهم طيبات دس ٹرم جیو واز اڈاپٹڈ بائی دیم اللہ سبحانہ وتعالی کے دم دی نیم بنی اسرائیل but they adapted this word yahud for themselves yahuda was one of the sons of hazrat yaqub alaihi salatu wasalam and then actually they attribute themselves to him so that is the term adopted by them that is why allah says allazina hadu they became jews they became yahud allah subhanahu wa ta'ala didn't give them this title quran gives them the title ya bani israel For the Jews, men Allah Zina had us due to the evil doings of these who became Jews. Haramna alehim ta yibat in kohillat lahum. We declared for them as forbidden some of the very clean things also that were already declared beforehand as permissible as a punishment. Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala in this world. He, he punished these people and declared something which were clean in themselves, which were not prohibited, which were permissible to be used, but they were declared unlawful for them. Wa be sadhihim an sabilillah, and this was also due to they are stopping the people and they are holding back themselves from the path of Allah. Sadda ya sudo, I told you, it means to to hold back yourself and to stop the other. It has both the meanings. They held back. they didn't accept the faith they didn't accept the rasul and secondly they were stopping others obstructing the way of the others from the path of the belief and faith waqzihum riba another charge they are accepting riba usury eating usury waqadhu an and they were forbidden from that waqlihum amwal an-nas bil batil another charge due to their eating the properties of others devouring consuming the properties which were not belonging to them which belong to others bil batil through false methods wrong methods harab methods wa atadna lil kafirin minhum azaban alima and we have prepared for those of them who have now rejected even muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam those of them who have now accepted muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam they believe in him they have mended their ways well they are among the muslims now but those of them that have refuted this prophethood of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam rejected muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam wa atadna lil kafirina minhum azaban alima and now there is an exception lakin ir rasukhuna fil ilm minhum because from among them there were who rejected muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and the majority of them did so but there were exceptions a few of them for example abdullah ibn salam radhiyallahu ta'ala he was a big um, alim of of yahud from the jews a big knowledgeable person a big rabbi lakin ir rasukhuna fil ilm minhum on the contrary those among them who are well grounded in knowledge who are deeply and firmly rooted in knowledge rasukhuna fil ilm they have the true knowledge and they are deeply rooted and well grounded in that knowledge wal mu'minun and these mu'mins who are believing in muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam yu'minuna bima unzila ilayka wa ma unzila min qablik now both they are bracketed together because they are believing in what has been sent down to you o muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam yu'minuna bima unzila ilayka wa ma unzila min qablik and also they believe in that which was sent before the same words appeared again ya ayyuhal ladina amanu aminu billahi wa rasulihi wal kitab alladhi nazzala ala rasulihi wal kitab alladhi anzala min qabl lakin ir rasikhuna fil ilm minhum now those of the jews who had well grounded knowledge who had firmly deep knowledge and these mu'mins who are believing in muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam now they both believe in what has been sent to you o muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and also on what was said before wal muqimin as salah and they established prayers wal mutun az zakah and they 
pay the poor tax, the obligatory charity. Wal mu'minun abillah wal yawmil akhir, and they believe, have faith, deep faith and conviction in Allah and the last day. Ulai ka sanuti him ajran azima. So these people are those whom we shall give a very great reward.